Hey guys and welcome to a mechanic gunsmith task guide, gunsmith part 2. For this task you're going to need to modify a AKS-74U. It needs to have 60 or greater durability. So if you don't accept the AKS from your mail because mechanic does actually send you one, you do need to make sure that you do repair the gun. It needs to have a Zenit B11 handguard. It needs to have a 60 round extended magazine. It needs to be compact, so it needs to be six slots or less. It needs to have an ergonomics of over 58, a recoil less than 550, a sighting range of 100 or more, and it needs to be weighing less than 3.5 kilograms. And now for the parts list. You're gonna to need to get yourself a AKS-74 using a B11 handguard, a CAC vertical foregrip, and an AK-74 5 or 560 round magazine. Now, once you actually accept this task, if you head down to your messenger and head over to your messages, you should have one from Mechanic. And here you should see the AKS-74U. And this is what we are going to be modifying. If you happen to, for some reason, use it or sell it, the way that you actually purchase the gun itself is you'd need to head over to Prepper at tier one, and you can buy it right here for 24 grand. So starting off, we're going to head over to here. We're going to go to tier one and we're going to grab ourselves the AKS-74U Zenit B11 handguard. Once you've got that, then we're going to head over to Peacekeeper and go to tier one. And this is where we're going to grab ourselves the CAC vertical foregrip. Now, when it comes to the 60 rounder, you can get these from rogues or from raiders like on reserve or lighthouse. Um, you can also get it from Santa's Guards if you happen to be on Shoreline. But if you do happen to have Tier 2 in your hideout, you can actually get the 60 rounder from it and you can craft it. It is four of these AK magazines you can easily buy from Prepper at Tier 1. Kick tape, which you can find on Interchange or basically any toolbox in a game, as well as a flat screwdriver, the long one, which is a 1x2. Once you got this, you're going to need to head over and now I'm going to show you how to build the gun. So starting off, we're going to take off the 60 or the 30 round magazine, whack that on. Then we're going to take off the um, the first one. I'll show you actually um, what you're going to do. If you happen to take them off and your gun goes red like this and you don't have a gas block in here, if you double click on the wooden thing in your inventory and then drag off the handguard, you can now see that you got the gas tube. So you're going to want to whack that onto the gun back on the B11 and then the CAC vertical foregrip and then fold it. You also need to make sure that you take off the muzzle brake on the front of the gun. So with that taken off, you can see we now got ourselves a green tick. So if we head over to Mr. Mechanic Man, go to Pass, Gunsmith. Just before I hand it in, you can see it right here. It is folded. Make sure that the durability is above 60. If you happen to get it from a scav, you only need to repair it up to 60. You don't need to repair it more than that if you want to you can do but here is the final full build click on that turn in and then we're all done now that we've completed gunsmith part two if you check the pin comment in the description or in the comments section it will now link you over to gunsmith part three where we're going to modify a mp5 Hopefully you guys found that guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. Also, if you're looking for someone to play with or you need help with a task, we do have a helpline, which is like the Sherpa system over at toc.gg, which is the outcast. We also run some tournaments and all that kind of fun stuff. So don't forget to head over there as well. An absolute huge thank you to everyone giving me feedback in the channel, liking and commenting. It helps a huge amount when it comes to this channel. And also thank you to all of my channel supporters over on Twitch, YouTube and Patreon. You guys are absolutely awesome. And especially a big thank you to the Riven King for your continued support.